As anglers, we're always looking for the thrill of that next bite. But in our case, finding the next bite hasn't been the hurdle. It's finding that trophy bite that has been the challenge for us. Finding that six pound smallmouth bass. My name is Tim Hine, owner and operator of Raw Fish. And along with the rest of the Raw Fish crew, we have set out to not only find and catch the elusive six pound smallmouth, but also understand why so we can keep that big fish pattern alive. Follow along as we focus on different areas of our home lake, fishing different weather conditions throughout different times of the year. We have one objective, find the six. If you followed along in our journey in search of a six pound smallmouth, then there's a good chance that you may have walked in our shoes. The anticipation of the next big bite is like nothing else you would ever experience. Last time on Chase and the Six, Kenny and I got into some quality fish, but nothing in the six pound class. In fact, nothing even close. Today, good buddies Brett and Craig join us for a friendly best five fish. With a combined 50 plus years of fishing experience, we have all managed to catch trophy fish, but all of us have struck out on this body of water when it comes to a six pound smallmouth. Today, weather conditions are expected to be unstable as there's a storm brewing north of us. So our search continues for six. Did you put baits in the glove box? Yep. Damn it. Those are all mine. <laughs> and what hopes to be a historic day on the water. Fishing trip is complete without M&Ms. Oh, whoa, following. First, anyways. Brett, yeah. ready to roll? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do round two of the friendly. Sure. We'll just replace Shay with Brett. <laughs> um, you got your, you get your scale. Net. With net, you get your scale, right? Yeah. Hey, Brett. Yeah. Are we putting fish in the well to do a weigh-in after, or should we just weigh them and... If you got the Rapala skill, you can just do a bag. Mine saves. Okay. Save. Unless them. you got a six-pounder and you you get some good pitchers. One big fish each. One, one fish each, and then we're just gonna weigh the rest of them and just keep track. We're just gonna do friendly. You're replacing Shay today. So if you get that. two fives, just keep the two fives, and then we'll take the And we get two fish sevens, fish. we got 14. You get two sevens, you win, and and call me. And series yeah. over. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> cut. Yeah. What's that? What do you mean? Kenny's feels like when you're back in the boat that you're not gonna have breaks. Oh no. We sh should be okay. Does he have breaks? He does until he backs up the boat. Plenty of hours on the water so far this season. A best five fish friendly might be the key to our success because sometimes taking the pressure off is all that it takes. So the two teams blast off in their respective boats with hopes that the next five fish will include a kicker in the six pound class.
size of fish we have come across this season hasn't been what we had hoped for. Every new day brings new expectations and the hope of finding that six pound smallmouth. Oh, you had somebody's, but now it's. I had somebody's line. Nobody actually. No, I had the fish and somebody's fucking line, and then. There was line. The two sets of line coming. Pulling. It's pulling. He has his jump. As you can see, sometimes it takes a few casts to shake off the early morning rust. The first area that Brett and Craig stopped didn't produce anything but small fish. So they moved further down the channel closer to the main lake in hopes that the bigger fish are set up there. We gotta scale this one. Store it and scale. Can I get paid for this? We got two below. Oh, the feet up here. As he anticipated, the storm brewing north of us changed directions and came south. Brett, Craig, Kenny, and myself all ended up in the middle of the storm. For safety purposes, we turned the cameras off and put the rods down as we dodged lightning and giant size raindrops for the better part of 25 or 30 minutes. As the storm passed and the lake settled, Kenny and I were able to continue our search to upgrade our best five fish. Sorry for your loss. 
as our afternoon came to a close, Kenny and I capped off a crazy day of weather and fishing with a double header that included two four plus pound smallmouth. That's a big double header. Get. Still not the size we were looking for. Sam. <laughs> Cookie cutters. Scale them. As the two teams pack up their gear and head back to the launch, we realized the storm we had encountered earlier that afternoon had changed course again and was coming back right for us. We knew time was limited and we needed to get the boats out of the water. shop, the two teams recap the day, the fish we caught, the storm we ran through, and of course, the winner of today's best five fish friendly. Five is a four, five is a four, four, five. I had a four, five, four, ten, and a four. So, Kenny crushed me. Yeah, Kenny. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Kenny, Kenny definitely crushed me as far as uh, oh yeah, he is probably like three to one. I, did, I know that every time I looked over, I was like, they're on fish. He's like, you're hooked up. I see you're hooked up. So are we doing like a product review on this or? <laughs> <laughs> so what his, happened? His four six is on my scale because of the his breaking. The three pounder was thrashing so much it loosened the nut off. I can still turn it on. Three eight. Three five, three five, four five. That one doesn't add. We, we got, got four six on one. That's so. What is your total? We have the four six. We got to pull one of those out of there, right? Is a three well, five. It was the, la it was the last one. Oh, remember apart. that five one? Yeah. No. We got to put that one in. That's <laughs> nine. That's a. We we're nineteen and a half pounds. So we have a three eight one, a three nine. A three nine six and a, a six. four ten and a four five six. Grand total twenty thirty one. Look good day. You guys marked a lot of fish today. Almonds. Almost every fish that we caught. Like you marked. Yeah. Like saying that. Right? It was We got was, we got some like anticipating there's fish up there and then we get them. But a lot of them were marked, yeah. I got like a little video of us when we first ran away from the storm. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And the second time we're like, we're like, oh, you know, it's breaking over there. You guys are heading out and then you guys like turn around and you're like, <laughs> we're like, no, 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 go. Man, that storm was insane. I was like, yeah. no, fuck this shit, let's go. It was, it was crazy. I was looking on the weather network and it was like, it said that Perry Sound was supposed to get it. Um, but then uh, Muskoka wasn't. But I guess 12 mile being in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Pretty good. What's that? Pretty good. Oh, I was. <laughs> Just like running a wall. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys turn no, around, we're crazy. heading towards it. Like, it's hailing, it's hailing, it's hailing. It's when, he's, hailing. when he started going into it, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And then all of a sudden, we got hit by those like marshmallow sized raindrops. <laughs> that's what I thought was hail. Like, like well, oh yeah, I'm like, hail. He like instantly first, turns around. First one. Oh, that's a chunk, man. The What'd you get that on? Flatworm. That was good though, it worked out. A little bit of a little bit of wet. I got some. Uh, my gitch is a little wet right now, but a little bit. Run out was. I took wet. my shirt off and yeah. just. Oh, dude! Just ring the run, the run I washed out. <laughs> oh, then it doesn't matter that I washed it because there's the no run out. You turn the corner and you just like oh, soaked. So uh, that I look back at one point and the freaking fork lightning was like just went. Yeah. I was like, um. I don't like that. I'm like, is the line standing up on the rods yet? <laughs> Brett's like, nope. I'm like, all right, all right. A lot of dinks. <laughs> Dude, good fish game in the afternoon.
Yeah, I get this game. Yeah, like, like that where we started was, we know, oh, yeah. it's not like a couple of things. That was it. The results are in. It was a consistent day for both teams, but once again, the six pound smallmouth has eluded us. And until next time, the chase continues for the trophy six. I montage of my break off together, and then I walk out of the picture, and then behind me, he's setting the hook on a fish. <laughs> uh, so good. You were 19 and a half, and we were 20 and a half. 20 and a half, so close. 19, 19, two. Nice. That was close, man. We were 20. No, I barely use this. 1.1 more than you guys.